Welcome to this screencast. We are looking at Cambridge National Creative Eye Media, the R081 exam. And in there, we look at the short questions with expansions. I am Mr. Govan. This is for my GCSE students. In this screencast, we will be using OCR's own website and looking into the past papers at the January 2018 series. In that exam, question 1b, explain one reason. And for this one reason, you get two marks. If you look at the mark scheme, what they are looking for is a suitable context-based expansion in order to award a second mark. For example, to develop a visual look, this would be the reason. And in order to score the second mark, you can write for the comics color scheme. The context is that you've used the word comic, which is what in January 2018 the mini case study that m all the questions was based on was some comic. Here's another example on question 2b. They ask you to uh, give one of the tasks on a work plan and for that one task explain how workflow is applied to it and for this explanation you can get a total of three marks in the moderator report for january 2018 for this question they actually gave an example of an answer written by a real student during the exam and this answer got the full three marks. The point was that um, the task main story in here is an example of workflow. As one milestone nears towards being completed, the next one begins. This sentence will score a second mark and it is further expanded with the third sentence. This is so there is were constantly taking place to achieve the final completion of a comic. If I go back to the exam question and scroll up a little bit, here is our work plan. Main task was, um, let's say, main image over here. And as you are working on main image towards the end of this task on week 12, you can see that at the same time, image free creation is starting. This is an example of a workflow as a student explained because while you finish one task the next one starts. If I go back to the examiner report and scroll up we have an example of an answer that scored only one mark. The students correctly gave the, an example of workflow with the task draft 2 but did not manage to expand on this. And if I go back over here, draft 2 is uh, this line 10. And as you can see, it is an example of workflow, but they did not manage to uh, expand on this further. Next, for question 3 and 4, I'm still looking here in the examiner report because it gives me both a question and some example answers at the same time. In this type of question, you get a total of 4 marks for question 3. And these four marks are split. You need to give two separate health and safety issues. And here in some of the examples given, you'll notice that not all examples cover uh, all the marks. Of the, uh, no, sorry, that's for the next one. Um, anyway, so here animators needed a supportive chair, so that's the point. And then the expansion to protect their back. Or, and for the second one, you could say cables could be tripped over, so that's your point. So they need to be covered and protected or taped to the floor. The last example of these uh, short questions that needs exa expansion that we found in uh, January 2018. Here we've got a question that can, uh, uh, can get three marks in total um, with, and as they said, uh, well-developed explanation. Some of the examples they give here only score two marks. Um, but uh, if we look at the first one, include an intonation of the characters. So that's your point. You get one mark for that. So the animators will know how to draw the face. Expansion number one. F 
for of the characters when they speak so they further expanded on the expansion and that's what scores you all the three marks and um, we get another example down the fourth one here um, and this time is for the voice actors so if in the script we include the intonations of the characters that's your point you get one mark voice actors will then know how to speak second marks and then here's a really good example of context for this task um, and then for the for the, the, the mini case study of the exam when they say when recording the web episode i hope you found this screencast useful and i look forward to reading your improved answers